Alright, this topic is going to be about cleanse. Now, if you don't know what cleanse is, cleanse is something that you do to are affected by a debuff such as this. There you go. You are wet. Something you can use to clear that is by cleansing. And it's gone. There, see? For having problems getting through floor 11 with your lineup, especially if you have a certain hydro character from Shneznaya and a certain uh, funeral funeral parlor director from Liwei. If these guys if these guys are the only characters that you have, then you might want to consider getting a cleanse character. If you're debuffed by an element, there are specific elements that you can use to remove that debuff or to cleanse it. Right, so first up is the pyro element. The pyro element status also has a specific name in some domains and also in the abyss. If you've heard of smoldering flames, then it's a pyro debuff where you get pyro damage over time. You often see this in the abyss or in some domains. Pyro can be cleansed with anemo, hydro, or cryo. Now, you use other elements specifically electro and dendro it's not going to work out because electro is going to cause overload which makes you explode and dendro causes burning electro status or engulfing storm debuff can be cleansed with anemo and cryo but even though cryo can cleanse electro it will still cause superconduct which lowers your physical resistance using pyro will cause overload Using Hydro causes Electro Charge. Next is the Cryo Status or Condensing Ice Debuff. If you're familiar with the domains, there's one domain where there's a wave of ice and your stamina suddenly goes down to zero. This is what the Condensed Ice Debuff does. To cleanse Cryo, you're going to need Anemo, Pyro, or Electro. But Electro is going to cause Superconduct again, <laughs> which reduces your physical Next is Hydro, which is the debuff in Floor 11, slowing water debuff, which, as I've said a while ago, increases the cooldown duration of your characters whenever you use a skill. If you've been to the Abyss with Hu Tao or Xing Q, Xing Cho, any character that has more than 10 seconds of cooldown is going to be almost tripled if you're not <laughs> careful. Now Hydro can be cleansed with Anemo and Pyro. If you use Cryo, then you're gonna get frozen. If you use Electro, you're gonna get Electro Charged, which makes this debuff quite the hardest debuff in the game right now. Because it can only be cleansed by two elements, that being Anemo and Pyro. Okay, moving on. If you have these characters, then you most likely have to use them for Floor 11. The four characters that can use Cleanse is Sinyan, Diona, Bennett, and Jean. So, any, so if there's any one of you guys who got Jean accidentally, you might want to level her up because she's pretty good. She's very powerful. Okay, so Sinyan. You, you, you might be surprised why Sinyan is here. Sinyan has a cleanse and that is on her shield. Now to activate her shield, you're going to need to hit at least two enemies if you have her leveled up. But if you don't, you're gonna need to hit three enemies or more. If you have the passive, the snow goes on even without an audience, first passive, then you only need to hit two opponents for it to work. Now once it's working, it's going to start pulsing. But that isn't the sign that you're being cleansed. I've tried it before after just using E and just running around in floor 11 and it does not work. For the cleanse to work, you have to swap multiple times to the character that you're going to use. For example, if you're using Xinyan and you're gonna swap to your DPS or you're gonna swap to a healer, you're gonna have to swap between those two to remove their debuff which is going to take about three to four swaps for the debuff to be cleansed next we have is diona right now diona is you know pretty weird spot because mihoyo gave them for free but her cleanse does not work in floor 11 because of course she is cryo and the debuff is hydro which does not work at all but if you're affected by pyro debuff Diona is a really good pick. 
Now, to make her shield work, you're going to have to swap two characters as well. <laughs> An example of the proc working like this. If you're on fire, then use your E, keep swapping, there you go. Is now cleansed. But the same goes with Sinyan, you have to keep swapping around to cleanse it. Especially the Smoldering Flames. Smoldering Flames debuff is pretty easy to remove because all you have to do is up your cleanse, change, and it's gone. And it's gone. There you go. How it works. There you go, see? If I keep swapping without the shield, then not removing the pyro debuff on Bennett. Whereas if we swap here, use her shield, Bennett and Jean will have their debuffs removed. Now in, in floor 11, it's pretty weird because once you're affected by slowing water, it's very hard to remove because for some reason it stays there and it has to take a few more rocks of cleanse for the stowing waters debuff to be removed. If you only have Zinyan and Diona, you're gonna have to keep swapping just to remove that debuff. But there is one character that you most likely already have. It's pretty much essential that you have this character. Now this character is Bennett. You might be wondering where well, if Bennett doesn't have a shield, how is he going to cleanse? You see, Bennett's cleanse isn't from his E, it's from his burst. Okay, so let's pretend that you are affected by Hydro slowing in the open world, that is. If you're affected by Hydro in the open world, all you have to do is use Bennett's Q, stay there for a bit, and it's gone. Go see, it's gone. But if you are in floor 11 of the abyss and you are being debuffed by slowing waters, you're going to have to stay in your circle for a good five, five to ten seconds before the debuff goes away. Something to note also is that the debuff only is affecting the character that is out on the field. So if you use your cleanse and then swap, that character is going to be affected by the slowing waters again. So you have to let them sit there for a bit till it's gone. And the next character is going to be Jean. For anyone who has Jean and doesn't want to build her, you have to build her now because of the new Abyss 411. Getting by 411 is going to be relatively okay depending on the characters that you have. But you're most likely going to need Bennett for every Abyss floor. Now Jean's cleanse is pretty is pretty much the same as Bennett's. But the difference between Bennett and Jean and how they cleanse is that Bennett can only cleanse two elements which is Hydro and Cryo. But Jean on the other hand cleansed all the other elements probably including Dendro. One other thing that differs from Jean and Bennett's Q is that Jean's Q has a lot of damage. It's it's a it's a it's an actual burst. And after pressing Jean's Q, your whole team gets healed as well as getting heals per second. Now this is a very good clutch heal and it's also a very good cleanse. Because if you're being cleansed, you're also exploding that debuff. So let's say you're being affected by hydro, right? So you have Jean, you get affected by hydro, just press that Q and your debuff is gone. The cleanse procs pretty much up every second or so, as long as you're inside the circle. Now something to note in floor 11 of the new abyss is that when you're affected by the hydro debuff and you use any of your cleanse characters, that the cooldown of that skill does not go down because of how the slowing waters debuff works. It stays there for longer. So the cooldown on your characters after you use let's say Bennett's ult or Jean's ult, the cooldown is still increased. You see the cooldown of Jean is at 20 seconds. It's going to go up to 35 seconds or more than probably. And the same goes with Bennett. His ultimate is, has a cooldown of 15 seconds. It's gonna go up to 30 seconds. Now a good way to clear the abyss using your cleanse is by bringing two cleanse characters. You can bring Diona and Xinyan on one team and Bennett. On the other. If you have Jean, then I suggest you put Jean on one team and Bennett on the other team. 
It's worth noting that when you are in the abyss for 11 and you're being affected by the Hydro debuff slowing waters, after you use your cleanse ability from either Bennett or Jean, using any skill after swapping without removing the debuff will still result in your cooldowns being very high. Let's say after you use your Jean or your Bennett's burst, you're gonna have to swap your DPS and stay there for a bit and let the debuff linger on before it starts being cleansed. Alright, that's it for the video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Drop a like if you find this video helpful and drop a dislike if you didn't. And comment down below if I missed something regarding cleanse. I'll see you guys later. Bye!